What's going on everyone? Jake here again. As you can see, we're once again on the road. Uh, I actually just dropped off the, uh, the 57 Plymouth Plaza at my good buddy's house. Uh, I've kind of got an idea for that if I, if I can. I'm thinking I want to get, I need to measure the wheelbase from the, how long it is from, you know, the front to rear. Um, but I'm thinking maybe find like a, like a Crown Vic, Grand Marquis, something like that maybe. And, uh, you know, cut the body off of it, you know, take the doors, cut the body off, front clip, all that. And uh, so I'm left with just, you know, like leave the interior, the engine, all that, obviously. And uh, take the body from the plaza and put it down on top of that. And of course I'd have to weld, you know, a lot of welding and uh, fabricating some stuff to weld in some braces and all that. But it'd be a lot of work, but I think it would be really worth it and really really cool in the end um, anyways so today we are on the road again we are going to pick up a car that I looked at yesterday um, well you'll know by the title of the video what it is it's a 74 uh, Volkswagen Super Beetle convertible uh, it's kind of a local car I think uh, guys had it a long time I'm gonna see if he'll let me uh, let me film him if he's okay with being recorded and uh, I'll ask him about the car and stuff. Uh, but anyways, I went and looked at it yesterday. Um, he had it listed on Marketplace and I asked him, I said, what's the best you do? And right off the bat, he dropped half his price. Uh, so I was like, well, I better go look at this. So I went and looked at it and uh, yeah, so I made him an offer and he was like, well, I've got another guy supposed to be coming. Uh, if he doesn't take it for you know, for this amount, I'll give it to you for, for your offer. I said, all right. I wasn't expecting to get it. I was like, well, this guy will probably take it for sure. Well, the guy ended up messaging me later last night and said, you still want it? Come and get it. I said, okay, I'll be there in the morning. So I'm headed there now at an empty trailer. And uh, so I'll pick back up when we get there. All right, guys, so here it is. The 74 Super Beetle. A little rough around the edges, as a lot of them are, but I've definitely seen them in worse shape. It's at the rear glass up here. So it is a local car. Went to U of M. I think he said his kid drove it to U of M for a while. But seats are nice. I think he said he got it running yesterday. 96. That would have been just a few months after I was born. It's all here. Just a good thing. I'd say definitely not perfect, but none of these cars are perfect. some extra parts in there. Original hubcaps, that's pretty cool. Very cool. But, all right, I'm gonna let him know I'm here and get this thing loaded up. block here in case it starts rolling forward if I can get to one there. all right so this is Jim right yes yep 
you've been the owner of this vehicle for quite some time. You bought it in Florida, you said originally? No, I bought or... it in Michigan. Oh, okay. And uh, in the early 90s, and then we took it to Florida because we have a home on the beach near Daytona Beach. And okay. so it spent many years down there and was our beach vehicle. Okay. And you bought, you remember what year you bought it? I think it was about 92. 92? Yeah. And then you remember how much you paid for it? I think we paid right around $4,000 for it. Oh, wow. That's a good bit of money back then. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was fixed up pretty nice back then. And yeah. The guy had been, did a bit of paint job and it served us well over the years. Yeah. So he was, we, we talked about it was painted orange originally. So he painted it green or you did? No, he painted it green. Okay. It was, and, uh, it was, uh, it was nice and shiny and real nice vehicle at the time. I'm sure if you took some wax to it, it might shine up again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. In some spots. Yeah. No. Was he the original owner or, or do you know? I don't think so. No? I don't think so. Know. Okay. And I, I could be wrong on the price. It might have been $3,000. It's been a lot of years ago. Yeah. But uh, it was a perfect car for riding on the beach because it's uh, being rear-wheel drive and with large diameter wheels, it went through the sand very easily and never got stuck. Oh, yeah. And, of course, you got the nice top put down, too. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> okay. So you would bought it around 92 and drove it. You said your kids had driven it for a oh, while to yeah, college? Yeah, everybody drove it when they came to Florida. We oh, kept yeah. it in Florida. I mean, when they went to they went to U of M, right? No, yeah, they went to U of M, but they they never drove it here in Michigan. It's oh, okay. Always driven down, but they put the sticker on the back. Oh, cool. All right. So then you, when did you stop driving it? Uh, probably around two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. Yeah. And why would what, did you get a new vehicle or did something break on it? No, it was. Uh, it, I wanted my idea was to bring it back to Michigan and restore it. Mm -hmm. I did bring it back to Michigan, but I'm a great procrastinator and my <laughs> lifestyle didn't give me enough time to really work on it. So it just sat. Gotcha. And uh, it sat and it sat. So are you originally from Michigan then? Or yes. Were? Okay. And then you just lived a lot of time in Florida there? Yes. Yeah, we've always we've been going to Florida for many years, probably since the 70s. And oh. uh, we love it in that Daytona Beach area. Very cool. Well, are you going to be sad to see it go? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of <laughs> memories with it. Yeah, I can imagine. A lot of memories. Well, cool. Well, I appreciate you selling it to me. Okay. Well, nice meeting you, Jake. Yeah. All right, guys. So we've gotten back home here. I've got it unloaded and uh, in my carport here, going through it. I found uh, these beauty rings and hubcaps in here. Looks like he's got uh, another set of just aftermarket ones. I put a battery in it. It's making a, like a humming sound or something. Not sure what that is. But I uh, just wanted to see what all works. See if the lights work. I think it's these here. I noticed the, the middle gauge light came on. Let's see if we got anything. We've got marker lights. Maybe, maybe I did it wrong. Maybe middle. Nope. Still no headlights. Right, the markers are on. Flip it back down again. Let's see if we got any tail lights. Yep. Tail lights work. I don't know how you can see them. They're on. And the license plate light even works. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it's hard to tell on camera, but yep, tail lights are on. Shut that off. So I'm not sure what the buzzing sound is. It sounds kind of like air, but I'm not sure. It's an old uh, cigarette butt in the ashtray. Is that stuck? Yeah, this is the back glass for it. 
He gave me a manual down there. I did just click this on, and amazingly, it works. Anyways, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? Little mirror. I was gonna put the top down. I'm not sure. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's got a second layer with insulation in it. Most of them are just a uh, <coughs> just this canvas top with no insulation. So that's pretty nice. The windows seem to work. Say the floor is. As in most of these is gone. It looks like somebody uh, fiberglassed them at one point, which is now given through. Uh, you can get floor pans for these. I found them. The cheapest I found was 200 bucks a side, because that center tunnel is still in good shape. It's not rotted out. And back there, there are some spots back in here that would have to be cut and uh, have a patch welded in. Um, but other than that, yeah, <clears throat> so about 400 bucks for new floor pans. It's front to back, both sides. Um, anyway, he, he said he had a guy look at it yesterday, and uh, they were able to get it up and running. I don't know if I'm going to try and start it, but I will see if it turns over. And this is in neutral. I'm sure you heard that. It must have still had some gas in it from yesterday. It just fired right up. That sounds pretty good. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's pretty cool. So he's got, uh, gave me a box of stuff here. Little uh, breather hoses for the engine. Looks like some gaskets. Some different uh, nice aftermarket uh, rocker valve covers. And there's some new uh, exhaust tips that go uh, back here. These ones are rusted out. So we could replace those if we wanted. And uh, I didn't put the center caps or anything on this side because this wheel I think is the spare and they don't want to fit quite right on that rim. Uh, there's not another matching one. I don't know if maybe he's got it. I might send him a message. But gas tank probably need to be pulled and cleaned out, I imagine. Uh, I don't know if the fuel pump's working or not, actually. I don't know if it's got an intake in tank pump or if it's got a mechanical one. It's a 74, so I would have to say it's probably got, it's probably on the engine somewhere. But I don't know. I really don't know very much about these engines. I mean, they look to be pretty simple. Not a whole lot to them. But, yeah, anyways. Pretty cool. I've always wanted one of these. I've just had lots of chances to get one and just never have. But now I got one. Alright, so I did just end up taking the top down. Took a little persuasion, but it went down okay. Probably should go through. So everything folded up all right. Doesn't look like it's all rotted out, which is good. Um, should probably go through and spray all the bending, moving parts. To make sure it's okay. Now I started putting this window down. And check this out. They fold down backwards down into the car. I've never seen that before. It's wild. And the other one do the same thing. Yeah, let's go all the way down in there. And then it just comes back up into place. That's too cool. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. Let me know what you think of the old Super Beetle. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I say I've never had one. I always kind of wanted one. Um, just never picked one up. 
uh, this one came up. You know, it was only 30 minutes from where I'm at, so you know, it was close enough. I had to make a deal on it. Couldn't pass it up. Um, so uh, Jim, the the guy I got it from, he said the he thinks the fuel pump wasn't working. So I looked them up, and surprisingly, they're they're only uh, like 35, 40 bucks. And I called my nearest Auto Zone, and they actually were able to order one for about forty dollars. So I'll have it here tomorrow, and I'll change it out. And uh, let's say I'll have to see uh, what the inside of the gas tank looks like. See if I'm gonna have to pull and clean it. Uh, Jim says he thinks it's empty, so maybe it's good to go. I won't have to pull it. Just put some fresh gas in it. I'll probably have to run uh, a rubber hose or something for the fuel line. I'm sure if the floor is rusted out, the fuel lines probably are as well. Uh, so we'll look into that, but hey, that means I'll uh, come back and do a second video on it So hey hit that like button if you like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe and have a good one